morning. Good morning. There you are. I hope that you guys are having a great morning so far. I just wanted to remind you that we've got Vacation Bible School coming up in July. It's July 9th through the 12th. And um, if you don't see me and volunteer, I will hunt you down. Um, no, kidding. Kind of. Um, but honestly, if you've not had an opportunity to let me know that you would like to help out with it, um, please come see me or... Jared or whoever you can find, um, but we would love to get you plugged in some way. We've got lots of different opportunities for you to serve, um, and it will be an absolute blast. You will not regret it, I promise. Um, also wanted to remind you that this coming Wednesday night, we're having what we're calling a VBS decorating night, and I know you're thinking it's June 7th. Vacation Bible School is an entire month away. We're actually going to have three different work nights to prepare for this, which not sure why we haven't done that in the past, but um, I think it'll be a great, great time for us to just work at a slower pace and um, work together to put all of the things. It, it takes so much work and so much time to put into turning this church into a whole different scene, uh, which is what we want to do for the kids. We want them to come and experience something different. We want them to experience the Bible stories by having these you know, the wall of Jericho that's going to come down this year. We're, you know, we want them to, to just be immersed into that place. We want this sanctuary to turn into a game station. So in order for that to happen, we've got a lot of different projects that go into that. So if you were available this coming Wednesday from 6 to 8, we would love for you to come. You need absolutely zero skills. I am not an artistic kind of person, but Holly... Our fearless leader, wherever she is, is going to lead us through um, making all the different things. So we would love for you to come out. I appreciate it. Yes, let's just meet in the Family Life Center, and then we'll go from there. We'll kind of disperse from there. Thank you. Yes, definitely in nowhere, because this place is big. You can definitely get, you can be walking around for 15 minutes trying to find somebody. Especially when uh, somebody runs away, like the, there was one night my son Josiah decided to run away from uh, Miss Sheila and Miss Katie. Uh, he, uh, so yeah, it's a lot of hiding places around here. So uh, we do want to welcome you to Greenway this morning and thank you that you chose to come and worship uh, God with us this morning to come and lift our voices and hear what God has to say to you today. Today is kind of a special day. We're going to be uh, honoring one of our graduates that's getting ready to graduate from uh, Watauga High here in uh, just a moment. So just want to welcome you to Greenway. And just uh, if you don't know who I am, I might not know who you are still. I'm still new. I'm still trying to learn everybody. I'm uh, Tim Lowry. I'm the youth, uh, youth director in education and whatever else. Pastor Darrell says, hey, I need you to do this. Or what do you think about this? Whatever. And so he just kind of points me where he wants me to go. And so uh, we just welcome you this morning. A couple other announcements is that uh, even though our celebration from Awana ended, that uh, we're still having youth this Wednesday. We don't have anything for kids this Wednesday, but there is going to be something for kids the following Wednesday, the 14th. And so uh, youth is those that are uh, in middle school. Just to give you another updated definition, those in middle school and up. So those uh, middle schoolers and high schoolers, they're welcome to come be a part of uh, what we're doing upstairs in the Family Life Center on Wednesday. And then the following Wednesday, all of those younger kids will be back and we'll have something special during that night for the summer nights, um, kind of every other Wednesday, so to speak. So you'll get to try to remind you about all that. There's also a deacons meeting and uh, Monday and daycare. And then uh, Pastor Darrell is still having his tough topics on Wednesday night. So uh, I know there was a little bit of confusion last week with, uh, with everything that may have uh, been something that I didn't make clear, but I am thankful for those that came to see all of the kids that were here. And those that were here, those kids that you saw, that wasn't even all of them. And so uh, I just want you to know there's probably 40-ish, something like that, that were here, and there was probably another 15-ish, maybe 20 that weren't even here. The guy is doing something, and if you didn't see pictures, I tried to put them on our Facebook page. This stage was full from this side to this side. Um, with the different ages that were up here. And so God is on the move, and, and lives are being te uh, changed and touched uh, for him. And so at this moment, uh, we'll go ahead and transition to our, uh, oh, yes. We will 
pray for them in just a moment. We're going to honor our graduates, and then uh, before we worship today, I'll have a time of prayer, and uh, we'll just lift them up. If you will stand as we honor Leah. be seated except for Max and Christy we're gonna ask you to come on up here I talked with Leah uh, just briefly this morning and she's like well I think it'd be good if my mom and dad were up here and I agree as well especially as much as Max as he was working with the youth here at Greenway and ha he's had a much more of a chance to pour in to Leah from a youth pastor perspective and as a, a parent and I think that's just a godly example to see parents that are raising their children to follow the Lord and to love the Lord and to just uh, continue to seek him after they get done with school. And so a couple of things about Leah. Is Leah Jane Smith graduated magna cum laude from Watauga High School. She played clarinet in the Watauga High School Marching Band, Symphonic Band, and the ASU Community Orchestra. She was given the John Philip Sousa Award for Superior Musicianship, Dependability, Loyalty, and Cooperation. She is also in the National Honor Society. Leah will be attending UNC Wilmington in the fall of 2024 to pursue a degree in marine biology. Her ultimate goal is to get a doctorate degree in veterinarian medicine and specializing in marine animals. She wants to work with sea turtles in rehabilitation center, which has been her dream since she was a little girl. Leah loves science, the beach, exploring the ocean, scuba diving, and caring for her many, many pets. And so uh, I, I feel like I've missed out on getting to know Leah since I'm still new. But I also just, uh, as I was praying, I always like to try to say something to those that are graduating. Because to me, like the longer I'm in youth ministry and the longer they're with me, they feel more and more like my kids. And it's like I'm sending out my kids out into the world. And I want to just say a couple of things uh, to you as well. Uh, Leah, one is uh, this quote I came across. It says, while God loves to fill our lives with tangible expressions of his goodness, he wants us to find those things primarily in him. Another one is that I want you to remember is that if it matters to you, it matters to God. So you always can go to him about it, no matter how small or how big, it matters to him. And a couple of verses as I was just praying, one is the one that's always out there is that uh, Jeremiah 29 11, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. Another one is Philippians 1 6, and I'm sure of this, that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. And then in Matthew 5 16, in the same way, let your light shine before others so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father who is in heaven. And Leah, I do feel like that I see God at work in your life. I see that you just have a, a light around you, like I've seen you with some of the kids here. I have seen that, and they seem to be drawn to you. You have something that those kids look up to. And so I want you to continue to let that light shine. God may use you with kids. He may use you anywhere. But wherever it is, let the light that God has started in your heart and in your life to keep shining to all those that you see. And just remember that he has a plan for you. And that Jeremiah 29, 11, the plan that he's talking about there, things are not going good for Israel when he says that. And so remember when things aren't going good that God still has a plan for you, even when it seems like there is no plan. And uh, hopefully you've enjoyed a lot of the pictures there about Leah's life. And I feel like I've really missed out on seeing her and things that are going on in her life. And so I do just want to just have a time of prayer over Leah, and we'll pray for yours as well, Stephanie, there. But I, I just want us to pray, and then after I pray for her, I got a couple other pictures from our preschool graduation, and then we'll hand it over to the worship team. 
So thank you all for all of you have a part in what's going on right here as well. Is that as a church, you have helped pour into Leah. And we have to remember that we're, our job's not done. We're still here for Leah. Even if she goes to UNC Wilmington or wherever God calls her, we're her church family. And our job is to pray for her and to be here for her and to lift her up. And so let's, uh, let's pray for her now. God, we just lift up Leah right now, God. Lord, we're so thankful for her, Lord, and just the achievements in her life. God, we're so proud of her. Lord, we do know that you have a plan for her. God, we see your light shining through her into lives that she's touching. God, we just pray for her as she goes off to college, Lord, that she would just be a light in the darkness. God, that uh, she may have to stand all alone, God, for what's right and what's true. Give her the boldness to do that. God, I pray, Lord, that others may be impacted by her stand for you, that they come to know you. Lord, just give her words, give her boldness, give her strength, God. Lord, I just pray for Max and Christy and the rest of their family, God, as they've just poured into her, God, and the church here has, Lord. God, I just thank you for the godly example that she's seen, Lord, and just the ministry that's been given to her. God, I pray that she remembers those things and those good memories and those things about you, that you've done in her life. God, we also look up to you, uh, Stephanie's family, that has some prayer requests, Lord, between uncles and sisters, Lord. God, you just, you heard their requests. God, we thank you that you hear us, no matter how small or how big our requests are. God, we can bring them to you immediately, and you hear our requests, Lord. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I do have a small gift for you as well. Leah, we want to present you there. And there's a Bible in there. I had I highlighted a few verses I let our youth highlight a couple or write a couple notes in there. I don't know how many are in there, but you might find them. Um, but I know one of the chapters that's really meant a lot to me is Romans 8. When things are tough, that whole chapter is just really awesome. But knowing that uh, God has a plan and that God's for us, there's some things in there in that chapter as well. So we're very proud of you, Leah. And look forward to all the great things that God's going to continue to do in your life. Thank you so much. It's awesome time graduation and sad as well, but God's on the move. Uh, another couple things real quick, if those pictures work um, from our daycare graduation, is that uh, Robert took some the other day, and I just wanted you to see this. They had their little parade out here, realizing that there are so many things going on here at Greenway, that there's around 80 to 100 kids that are down there. There's people in our um, uh, food pantry, our Awana, and then just realizing they had their uh, parade celebration as they just celebrated those kids. And then here they are, that's the one I wanted to focus on, seeing all of these kids that are right here, that, that there was, there's families that are being touched right here in our community. There's lives that are being impacted. And I just want to challenge you, are you praying for all the things that are going on here? And are you involved? Find a place to get involved, or Marsha might hunt you down, like she said. So... You know, we need, we need people that are willing to serve God. And there's a spot for you to serve God here and to use the gifts that he's given you. We're all part of the body. And so just thank you for your time as we get ready to transition to worship. And uh, just, if you want to see Leah at the end, I'm sure she would, would be glad for some encouraging words as uh, you just maybe get a chance to speak to her. The He's not real might, sure. <laughs> might get busy. <laughs> oh, it's so good to see everybody here. We have some uh, Bob and Sue are here. Um, anyway, it's good to have uh, all of you all here. Leah, we, we honor you today. And as our first song, um, I'll, I'll be reading some scripture, and then our first song is Whom Shall I Fear? And as you go out, um, he stands before you. He's behind you. He's with you all the way. So, um, if you all would stand for the reading of the scripture. This is from Psalm 31, verses 1 and 2 and 19 through 24. And David wrote these words, In you, Lord, I have taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Turn your ear to me. Come quickly to my rescue. Be my rock of refuge, a strong fortress to save me. 
How abundant are the good things that you have stored up for those who fear you, that you bestow in the sight of all on those who take refuge in you. In the shelter of your presence, you hide them from all human intrigues. You keep them safe in your dwelling from accusing tongues. Praise be to the Lord, for he showed me the wonders of his love when I was in a city under siege. In my alarm, I said, I am cut off from your sight. Yet you heard my cry for mercy when I called to you for help. Love the Lord, all his faithful people. The Lord preserves those who are true to him, but the proud he pays back in full. Be strong and take heart, all of you who hope in the Lord. Join us as we sing. song seem 
almost contradictory, God, how you could, you could lead us into battle but still be close enough and gentle and tender enough to, to be a friend. And, and, but you are, and that's, that's, that's who you are, and it, it can't be defined because it's, it's not a, a human attribute. You are you're a God we can't, we can't comprehend it because it's, it's not for us to, to understand. But God, we rest in it. We thank you that you're our portion. Thank you that you are our friend, that you go before us. I pray that we wouldn't, we wouldn't try to, as Daryl says so many times, we don't want to take a step without your, without your leading. We don't want to be ahead of you. We want you leading us. And Father, we rest in that. We rest in knowing that you are that friend that, that is ever present. And Father, we thank you for that. We praise you. We lift up these, these tithes and these offerings to you, God. We give them back with a, a thankful and, and gracious heart. And we ask that you would bless them and use them. We love you and ask all this in Christ's name. Amen. Be strong in the Lord. He will be with you wherever you go. I stand as we continue in worship.